It's time for another Blue Jackets drop-in. I'm Bob McElligot with Jody Shelley, and we are joined today by goaltender Elvis Merzlikens, who is still here in the Columbus area. And uh, Elvis, what's it been like for you these past couple of weeks? Uh, strange for everybody, but what about a guy that is uh, from overseas who's here in Columbus and really right now can't find a way out? Um, yeah, hello, everyone. But um, uh, I think it's really boring. <laughs> It's boring sitting home and, uh, yeah, just practicing, training what you can do it here at home, but uh, not, not that really much. Uh, running outside just when the weather is good, but still uh, you're kind of a little bit scary about that. So I try to, to do more cardio here in, in my guest room. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's getting really boring that now I'm trying to buy uh, a machine who is going to shoot the tennis balls. So uh, I'm going to buy that one and I'm going to try to, 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 to do that one here in my apartment. But still, yeah, there is not enough room. Uh, but yeah, I, how you can see, I'm getting really bored. So yeah, and plus a lot of PlayStation. So that's not really good for my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you mentioned, uh, you know, we talk, we've talked to guys in the past couple of weeks about the skating. And of course, you know, you want to be skating and need to be skating too. But then there's that other aspect of your game, just seeing shots. I mean, as you just said, there, there's nothing you can do to work on angles or anything like that there in your apartment, right? No, that, that's the thing. I'm really missing that somebody is shooting at me. Uh, actually, we bought, there is like a gun for my, for, for my puppy that you put the tennis ball, then you shoot it and uh, the ball. And then uh, in the end, when we were outside with the puppy, we were, we were playing with the puppy, and then my girlfriend was shooting against me the ball. So it was a place fun to catch that one. But yeah, yeah, like I said, I want to buy that machine. Uh, it's it's going to be even good for future. But uh, still, I want to. It's really interesting thing. I'm really into it. So uh, we have to just find little details like how to find the black tennis balls because I want them black. And, and trying to, 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 to catch something at least. And, and yeah, I wish that uh, I could skate. I think everybody would like to skate, but yeah, I'm, I'm really missing hockey. Elvis, how long do you think for a goaltender? So say you get back on the ice, how long does it take before you're ready to play a game? You need a week, two weeks, four days? I have no idea, but what is it for a goaltender, you think? Um, I think maybe maximum two weeks, probably. But when you when you get maybe four days off or five, uh, your body feels after first practice you feel really tired, like really dead, like exhausted, and uh, and that's the thing. Like now we had like kind of a lot day offs, so I think there would be like two weeks, maybe and half, and then you would you would feel fine. Uh, I think like I, that's my guess. I don't know uh, for myself like. I remember the Christmas break and then uh, the All Star break. It was hard to get back because you had kind of three, four, five days off that you didn't skate. Uh, that you go in the gym or, or or you work out that doesn't mean anything. Like for me, goalie, like I feel that doesn't mean anything. For me, I need to skate. I need to to feel that real cardio uh, and of course of reaction, like uh, reaction of sleeping. And like I said, I'm trying to 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 throw the balls against the wall and try to catch something, to do something at least. But still, it, it, it's not the, the hard pucks that are coming against you. Now, I got to ask you, because last year you're in Europe, previously in your career, and, and the, the games are played, there's a little more distance between games. Is there another level now that you think that the NHL is for your, you know, your, your physio and your, your cardio and your sharpness? Is that had to be elevated this year? Um, I think it's just about uh, how to say adjustment. Uh, like when 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 you when you play a lot, you 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 get experience and you understand what is the level. I mean, I, I joined the best players in the world, the quickest players in the world. And what they did, they just made me better. I think so. It's 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 it depends of, of the league, of the skills of the players. Uh, Obviously, the first, I remember the first game uh, when I played in Traverse City. Uh, yeah, it was maybe a little bit jungle hockey there, but I mean, there was everything so fast. Like after the Switzerland, 
that the rings were big and I had so much time. I remember after 10 minutes, I was already tired and I was like <laughs> shocked. What is going on? Why everything is so fast? I have no time to rest. I have no time to drink. Even in, even in the face-off, you catch the puck, you, the referee, they just grab your puck and they don't give you time to drink. So everything was like weird. It was new. Uh, then then after just the games and living this this kind of hockey life, you just got ad- adapted on that and then you just try to, to be like everybody else. So when you get that tennis ball machine fired up in your apartment, you put it at the max, and just fire that thing off the wall from everywhere, huh? Just get that thing going. <laughs> I was thinking, like I saw on the internet, that the fastest speed of the ball could be 86 miles per hour. Uh, from six feet? <laughs> uh, I don't think that would be a good idea. But uh, I'm not afraid of, the, of that thing because uh, I was talking to my uh, ex, my first, first goalie coach, my ex-goalie coach, uh he had this thing uh that we were practicing all summer long with the with this kind of machine and i asked him where i can i get it uh because yeah i really want it one day when even when i was young I, I said to myself that i wanted that one day want that machine uh but the thing is that i'm not afraid of that ball i'm more afraid when i'm gonna save it that the ball gonna change the direction and probably going to break something in my apartment. So that's the only the problem here. Uh, so I had to figure out what to do. I, I was thinking maybe to go from one room to the, uh, to the other bathroom where I have, where in bathroom you don't have anything that much. So probably I'm going to do that. Yeah. So Sounds or, dangerous. You're really or, or, or even I just going to try to go in some, some park where nobody is it and, and try to play there. When that you might get really be confident, idea. will you get in front of the window? Sorry? <laughs> when you get really confident, will you sit in front of the window? I could do it. But I remember <laughs> when I was breaking the windows back home when I was young and my mom was screaming. So here I don't have any more my mom and I have my girlfriend. So she's going to scream at me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I understand that you've been uh, finding ways to uh, pass the time outside of hockey here. And uh, you've been doing a little bit of painting. Tell us a bit about that. Um, my girlfriend is a really good paint, painter. Uh, she likes to paint and uh, I don't have really patience in that uh, because I want everything. I'm really kind of perfect. Uh, I like everything perfect and I want something hard. So I did the last painting really hard, but it was really hard and she helped me out. Uh, a little bit cheated, I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> so. But that's just because I want a perfect and I don't have stable hand like she has. So, uh, yeah, I, I like this challenge as well, uh, painting. My mom was really good painting. She, she is really good painting. Uh, my brother, he likes it to paint more like graffiti and that young stuff. Uh, but but like, 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 uh, like my mom said, that's in family. Like everybody likes to paint it. And my, my grandfather as well. So I was, I think, the, the worst one, the only one, the worst one was painting. And then, uh, yeah, I wanted just to kind of learn. Uh, good that I have my girlfriend here who was teaching me how to, how to paint it. So, yeah, I just started the first one easier painting and then I w- was going on the hardest one. And, yeah, uh, looks like pretty good, but it's not over yet. Do you have it there? Yeah, it, it's right here. Oh, that's really that. good. Nice. Sitting on the chair. Oh, he's sitting on the chair. Yeah. Very well good. done. It's not over, so we're going to see when it's going to be over. <laughs> How long is that wow. going to take, you think? Yeah. Oh. They said all this thing I painted maybe in four days. Draw it. I didn't paint it yet. That's just a draw. Uh, then painting like the last one, I was painting a week maybe because I was going 
uh, I'm not painting with the how you say with the water. I'm just taking the the color, the paint and then just painting. So everything, every color what I did, I had to do it three times. So it's really kind of a good color on it. Then like then I figure out to just go with hair dryer and dry it. I don't know why I was doing like i lost my two days the first two days of waiting for drying and then i just figured out that i can use the hair dryer to dry it so yeah that's still experience i had to learn it and i'm learning well the good thing is you had the two days to wait because you didn't have anything else to do i played playstation but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah let's let's talk about that um are you playing any other guys on the team or who who are you playing against or what do you what are you playing and what do you and who are you playing against I'm playing more, mostly now Call of Duty, uh, the Warzone it calls. I'm playing with Tex, uh, and uh, sometimes John C. Jones, uh, John C. Joins us. <laughs> so, uh, but we played maybe two times with John C. Uh, but mostly I'm playing a teammate from national team, and. Then I'm lucky, like they maybe are doing something during the day. So during the day they are not available and I'm playing with my friends back home in Switzerland. Then when they go sleep, I'm playing with the techs and other guys. So I kind of have all day busy. <laughs> uh, 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 and yeah, it's fun. And that's, that's what we are doing here. Hey Elvis, what's it like? Uh... States. But, you know, your, your, your family, your mom is in another country, you're here with your girlfriend, but what's it like for you to be, during this time here, in an apartment in the United States waiting for work to happen? Is it, are you really torn and want, would like to be back with your mom, of course? Well, obviously, who, who didn't want it? Like, I didn't saw my mom for a year, a little bit more than a year, probably, because I was in Switzerland. So, I would say a year and a half, even my brother. So uh it's obviously it's hard to be away from family but uh i think in 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 my case i am already uh, adapted in that because when i was 15 years old i went to switzerland alone and i was seeing my mom maybe once or twice a year when i was going to national team and then mostly of the time i was living in switzerland because i had summer preparation there with the team and i was all the time there the season and the school and everything so I think when I was younger, uh, I got used to it on that, uh, and it's easier for me. But obviously, you want to go home. I mean, this is home, but that's not your home home. Uh, you would like to eat your home food made it, uh, your mom's home food made it. Um, maybe I'm missing that. But again, in, on the same, same situation, I'm thinking, like, what's going to change? Uh, if I'm getting back home right now, anyways, I have to stay 14 days in quarantine without seeing nobody. I can't even hug my mom. I can't even see her. She can just leave the food in front of my door and then leave. I can't even say hi to her. So, okay, then maybe the, after the 14 days, yeah, I can see my mom, but I'm more worrying about her because she's older than me. She's old. Uh, I mean, she's not old, old, but she's old. She's 50. And anyway, she has. She has like, now, I don't want to say anybody who is 50 is old, but I'm saying that hey, older Bob, than me. Bob is 50. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah just be saying, careful there, huh? I, I'm just saying <laughs> that the people older than me, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm just scared about them, especially my grandmother. Like, uh, she has problems with, uh, with, the, with the breeding as well. So for her, it's really dangerous. And, and she's sitting at home every day. Uh, all, all day long and uh that, that's the that's the thing i would like to see mostly my grandma obviously but i can't see even her so it's, it, it's all right to stay here i mean for now the time uh the, the weather is really nice here i really like it um so it, it's good it, maybe yeah i'm missing the, the the practices the gyms maybe something like that uh but uh that's that's the situation of our of our life right now so we just stick together and sit home and of course staying active on social media right 
what else you want to do? I mean, you have to do it. Ju I just saw the TikTok, so I'm trying to do something with TikTok with my dog as well. Uh, but I see that I'm not the only one. There is a lot of hockey players who are doing it. So you get really bored and you have to figure out what to do. That's true, but we've also seen a lot of creativity, I mean, from everybody in the world, but especially from hockey players. And, you know, a lot of times we talk about that you guys have great personalities and sometimes within the game you don't see them a lot because – Everybody's very reserved and they don't want to let that out. But I think in this time, these last couple of weeks, we've seen quite a bit of that on social media. Did you, would you agree? Yeah, it's, uh, but it's even nice to see. I mean, the, you, you really see that the, how, how he's like as a person, the player. I mean, how he's family guy and how he loves the family and even the funny stuff, what they are doing. It's always funny to see it. So uh, I totally agree with you, yeah. Are you into cooking or anything like that? Are you cooking any dishes that you like? Or are you just uh, just sticking with what you've told us so far? Are you, you trying anything new besides painting and getting in the kitchen and exploring? Um, let's say uh, um, kitchen <laughs> kitchen is not my uh, <laughs> my my best part. <laughs> uh, so. She's the boss. I'm eating everything what I have on plate, so I have no even discussions a lot. So, um, but I like to grill. But again, like on, on the same time when you asked me to if I would like to be home, I would say I would really love to, because my brother has a house, and in the house you can do a lot more stuff. Uh, I was already thinking how I would. I, I really like to work with the hands, to 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 build something. So I was already thinking how to build him a barbecue zone in the, at the house outside in the yard, you say. So uh, I really like barbecue. I'm really good on, on the grill. So uh, I'm really good with the meat, not good with the fish. I don't really know how to cook really good fish, uh, except salmon, but uh, other, other fish as I can really cook because I'm not really that good. But uh, yeah, uh, mostly on my cooking time, I'm not doing it. So she, she is the boss and she, she is choosing for me. Smart man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have, you, um, have you talked to Manny Legacy at all, your goaltending coach? Uh, just, I mean, even in some of those days where you, you want to be doing something and there's nothing to do, have you guys spoke very much during this break? Uh, yeah, we, we, we spoke. We're speaking maybe once a week probably or once a two weeks uh but we're not that really talking about the the practice uh, and what to do we're more talking like friends uh, how how he's doing and how we are doing uh so even with his wife because my girlfriend is really good friends with he, with uh, his wife so we are in good friendship and and yeah we are just talking like more friends nothing about the hockey and business how much has that relationship helped you from the time you came over here last year and you were practicing separate from the team and into going through all that you went through this year and, and finally getting it to, to where you wanted it to be? How big of a part of all of that has Manny been for you? I, I don't know how it's maybe for different goalies, but uh, um, uh, I'm more like – lovely like I, I i i had to love people like i had my ex goalie coaches uh from four or five goalie coaches uh i was in really good friendship and everything with four of them uh actually well because he was teaching me like just i understand that's a business and you have your coach and he's the boss and what he's saying you have to do it right so for goalie i think it's more different it's not the same thing like example uh zach is best friends with torts okay i don't think that that's like hockey players can can do that like for me and manny example it is like this like we 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 can go i can go at his place whenever i want and do whatever i want that that's the nice thing that we are really good friends and on the same time that you have that good friend who is giving you the advices 
he's always gonna do something better and the best way what he can find it for you he's gonna find it and he's gonna help you so i think this is really nice that you have your fun but on the same time you work and on the same time when when the thing when are you doing something bad or you are in trouble he's the guy who is telling you to not do that or when you are in trouble he's gonna tell you that so that's the good part that he's like uh i had i don't know maybe it's because uh, i never i never like kind of met my father when i lost him when i was three so maybe that the, my goalie coaches maybe were my 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 closest fathers for me because like i even told to many like uh he he didn't like really teach yeah he teached me a lot in the hockey but mostly what he's teaching me even is his outside hockey which is really nice and i i really appreciate it and uh, i i really love him <laughs> and uh it, it's great to have somebody like this in your life and even i understand hockey is a business and, uh, and sooner or later in the future the roads may be going to go separate uh, which which is normal because that's the business you never know but you're always going to know that there is uh, somebody who is going to be with you and he's still going to help you when you're going to need it so this is really nice to have uh people in your life i think uh and yeah that's a great great thing i think well, Elvis, we uh, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day showing us uh, your painting or your drawing that'll be a painting when it's all said and done. Uh, good luck in finding that tennis ball machine, not breaking everything in your apartment. And uh, most importantly, uh, good luck to all of us to get back to work here sometime very soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Thank you very much.